Dr. Phil Fanatics. That's P H A N because it had to be clever since it's Phil P H I L. And don't forget to follow and subscribe to my podcast, Fill in the Blanks, where I provide tools and techniques to spot a con artist and build a resilient child or navigate difficult relationships. You can find it right there. And check out Robin's podcast, I've Got a Secret with Robin McGraw. Whether you're looking for a secret to keeping your head up or the neuroscience secret of feeling good, Robin covers it all. Uh, check it out for free on Apple Podcasts or wherever you listen to podcasts. We'll see you next time, Craig. No family should have to be here and have to go through what this family has had to go through. I'm so sorry that that happened. That is, there's no excuse for that. You're doing everything you can to get this to justice. It's hard, but Dr. Bill, we thank you. Thank you all for entrusting me with telling this story. Thank Thanks so much. Thank you, Dr. Bill. Thank you so much. Thank you. We reached out to Courtney's attorney, Frank Prado, for a comment. He says Courtney's statements about the incident have not been released by law enforcement. Therefore, the family's allegation that Courtney gave conflicting statements about Toby's death is absolute conjecture. He denies Courtney abused Toby or any other man she's dated, calling the allegations absolutely false. He also denies Courtney ever attempted to stab a previous boyfriend. He claims Courtney and Toby had a tumultuous relationship in which both were involved in episodes of aggression. However, he insists it was Toby who physically, mentally, and emotionally abused Courtney. He claims there is evidence Toby was trying to control Courtney by providing her with Xanax, and as discussed in our interview with the family, he also accuses Toby of involvement with an aspect of human trafficking of Courtney. He says Toby's death was a result of Courtney defending herself in what he calls a fight for her life. He claims Toby was involved in the commission of a forcible felony that night, and Courtney had every right to defend herself against a much larger and stronger individual. Since we taped this interview, Miami prosecutors have announced they are reviving a probe into Toby's death. We will certainly be following along as this case develops. I want to thank Toby's family for being here today, as well as their attorney, Larry Hanfield. Go to my website, drphil.com, for details. We really have a good time here, right? Uh, you never know what you're going to find. Be sure to follow me on all my social media platforms, and don't forget to join our Facebook page, Creative for Fans, just like you. It's Dr. Phil Fanatics, that's P-H-A-N. And don't forget to follow and subscribe to my podcast, or Robin's. Mine is Fill in the Blanks. Robin's is I've Got a Secret with Robin McGraw. Check them out for free on Apple Podcasts or wherever you listen to your podcast. We do lots of interesting things there that we don't have time to cover here. We'll see you next time. Thanks for being here.
Please. Oh. Look at him go. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 It's a, it's a cute little mutant giraffe. <laughs> Uh -huh. I'm gonna make this portable CD player disappear! Woo!